Now to a CBS 4 consumer alert and tonight a massive nationwide expansion of the recall involving defective airbags. They've been tied to several deaths and a lawsuit right here in South Florida. CBS 4 Summer Knowles is live in Doral with what you need to know. Summer. Well, guys, they are expanding this recall to a national level now because these Takata airbags, they are posing a much greater risk than they initially thought. And it now has a lot of people taking a close look right here, their front windshield on the driver's side at the VIN number to see if their cars are on that recall list. Instant blindness on my right side, followed by gushing blood. This Florida woman's injuries, all the result of her car's Takata manufactured airbag after it exploded during a crash, sending shrapnel flying full speed inside her car. The device aimed at saving her life nearly ended it. And her story is duplicated across the country by one victim after another after another as these broken steering wheels with blown out, blood stained airbags are on the rise. Miami Gardens resident Clarabel Nunez also one of the more than 100 known victims. When the airbag deployed, this shot right out of the airbag and struck her right in the forehead. So far, at least five deaths have been linked to the faulty airbags. And according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, also known as NHTSA, nearly 8 million vehicles have been affected, including many from these automakers. Initially, the recall was limited to southern states because of their warm weather climates where investigators believed high humidity made the explosions more likely. But they expanded it nationally to include side airbags in addition to front ones after a recent crash involving an exploding airbag in North Carolina. NHTSA says the Takata Corporation learned about the issue possibly as early as 2004, but didn't notify them until 2008. NHTSA hosted a national conference call with the media Tuesday evening, they say in part, to pressure Takata into doing the right thing. Takata's initial response yes. is an unwillingness to move forward. And frankly, that is one of the reasons why we're talking to all of you today, because I believe that everyone needs to understand that Takata needs to act. Now, there is a Senate committee hearing scheduled for November 20th that will examine the Takata airbag defects and the vehicle recall process. But how do you know if your call is on the list? Well, you're looking at it right here. This is the VIN number. It's on your windshield on the, the very front on the driver's side. All you have to do is take that number and plug it into the recall website. For a link, just go to CBSMiami.com. We're live in Doral. Summer Knowles, CBS 4 News tonight. Summer, thank you. Well